it sure is longer than I thought it was. Let's get into today's video. Here we have it. The 2020 Axial G Gladiator in its now new form. So, there it is. Let's take a look at it. Also, like to mention, this is what it started out as. The stock red Rubicon, the bed, sadly got chopped up, but that's what we have to Okay, so if you don't already know, this is my Axial Fest build. A lot of you do know that because you follow me on Instagram, at Adventure, but a lot of you don't. That's why I'm doing this video today. We're going to do a build overview to see what I have in this truck, what I have in the trailer, and what I have in the trailer in the truck trailer. Yeah. So, we're going to do a build overview and see what we got. See if it's good enough for Axial Fest 2022 at Rob's Resort in California. Let's take a look. Okay, here we have it. So up front, RC four-wheel drive bumper with winch with all the modules. I have the little controller on my remote because I'm using all the channels for my lights, which is brings me to the CC hand bumpers with LEDs. I have those wired up and also the rear Bumper is CC hand with lights, so that's all taking up my channels. So, a couple CC hand parts. We got a little snorkel right there. There's Billy Bob Joe inside. He got a red shirt on now to represent the original color of the Gladiator. I thought that was appropriate. And then I'm still running portals with Proline Super Swampers and Element Method Race Wheels. Moving towards the back here, we got the same setup, like I said, the CC hand bumper stock tail lights with a little sharpie to represent the reverse light. And then moving on to the camper here, the camper is actually somewhat special, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain. So the more. camper took three tries to pull this off. This is the third model, and I scrapped the other two for good reasoning. So this is based off a 1995 Alpen Light truck camper. And the reason I picked this specific one is my dad had this one on his truck uh, recently and then he got a brand new one. But I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna build this into RC and take it to Axial Fest. His daily driver's a Ram. It's not a Gladiator, but they're both blue. So, you know, it's fair. So anyway. We got the Alpen light, and you'll look, it's rough around the edges. We have some patina, or not patina, weathering though, you know, because it's all scraped. And it's, I just, you know, I tell people it's a 95, you know. Uh, some of it's not so scale, like the roof trunk wasn't on there. The awning was actually on there, so that's scale, but the roof trunk wasn't. But um, I, I like it, you know. It does make it a little more top heavy, but I have enough weight on the bottom and from the 3D printed trailer to where I'll be fine and won't have to worry about anything. But let's move on to the trailer. Okay, on to the trailer side of things. The trailer is amazing and I can't thank Custom Scale Printing enough, aka KSP, right there. It's amazing like if you don't already follow him on Instagram go check him out I'll leave a link down below with his Instagram and mine as well check him out give him some business I mean come on like look at this you got little fuel jugs you got the cooler he no longer sells this cooler this is a discontinued item but still I mean the lid opens I mean come on his newer coolers are like the Yetis but super cool He's got this little bin and he sent me some firewood. And then I got I got a bunch of other KS, KSP stuff, but you know, you got the little little pots and pans and then this trailer has LEDs as well. You got little side markers right here and then you have the tail lights right here. Now this trailer isn't just no 3D printed trailer, no sir re. This trailer is based off my dad's ATV trailer. Or, you know, the camper's based, was based off his cam his camper. So it's all based off real stuff. And this trailer is actually right behind me, and I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so I inserted a photo. Hope you saw that. And, uh, yeah. So the detail is insane on this thing. This ramp unfolds with two little deals, just like the real trailer. The ramp goes down. 
And uh, it's just overall awesome. I can't thank him enough. I appreciate his hard work. I mean, it's even on Leaf Springs. It's well worth the price. You can find these on his website. Like, he, he'll sell you one of these. Like, pre-made, you know, color, whatever. He also sells camp trailers. But I'll leave a link to his Instagram and his website down below. So check that out. Thank you again, KSP. And uh, let's get back to over. So moving on to the Can-Am. The Can-Am was kind of a last-minute decision. It was just going to be the truck, camper, and Can-Am. The reason the Can-Am was a last-minute is I don't have a Can-Am in real life. I have two ATVs. One's a Kawasaki and one's a Can-Am Outlander. This is a Maverick. But anyway, you know, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going with a very special person, and I don't know. I'm not going to mention him right now, but a very special person. You may have seen him in a couple of other of my videos, but this is what he's driving. He's driving this little Can-Am Maverick, and this thing, this thing goes. It's all stock. The truck is completely stock even, so I left this, but it is color matched. So the gray matches the gray on the camper, that stripe, and the blue on the springs matches the blue paint color. So super awesome. I didn't do much to it, but you know, it, it flows with the theme, you know? So I'm super happy with it. But now that we did a build overview, there's really nothing to show underneath the body because it's, it's completely stock and there's just a bunch of wires. So enough of that. Now that we did a build over review, let's roll to the running footage. Hope you enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed because I have over the year of putting this build together it's certainly one of a kind and I couldn't be happier to show it off at Axial Fest 2022 my first year of going so I hope to see some of you guys there and the special guest will be featured here in a couple days on the channel due to Axial Fest being in a couple days uh, he'll be driving the Can-Am Maverick right beside me and I couldn't be happier about that but uh, as always I'm Wyatt Pettigrew We'll see you guys on the trails. See you there.